Hi, my name is Katrina Metternock, and I am currently a day guide with St. Elias Alpine Guides in McCarthy, Alaska, although I am originally from central Illinois in the Midwest of the United States. So, I really want to become a Franz Joseph Glacier Guide because it would be a new and interesting challenge for me. I haven't really traveled outside of the United States, except for very brief vacations as a child with my family to Canada uh, to fishing resorts. Uh, my dad loves northern fishing. Um, so yeah, going to a totally different place in a different hemisphere would be a very new and exciting challenge for me uh, and would allow me to continue to grow my skills as a guide uh, just in a different place. And so the most difficult physical challenge that I've had, I hasn't really been in the outdoors. I've done a couple things up here in uh, the Kennecott Valley that were very challenging, but more so a mental challenge than a physical challenge. Uh, my greatest physical challenge has been uh, quite a while ago now. It was about six, uh, six or seven years ago. I was a junior in high school, and I got very sick and was in the hospital for about two weeks uh, due to an allergic reaction to some medication I was prescribed. And I lost a lot of muscle mass uh, during that time, and at the time as well, I was running track. I was running the two mile, and I was really working hard uh, to get my best times. However, after leaving the hospital, I lo had lost a lot of muscle, I had lost a lot of stamina, a lot of endurance, and so it really took a lot for me to get back into that shape. Uh, but within a year, I was able to work back up uh, to where I had been, and actually best some of my times, which was uh, a huge accomplishment for me at the time. It was very difficult uh, to get back to that state, but it was very, very rewarding. The specific skills I'd be bringing to the guiding team, I believe that I am an excellent communicator. I have lived in communal settings for a while now, and I believe that has allowed me and offered me the, the opportunity to better my communication skills. I also believe that I am an excellent team member. I like to try to give the best that I possibly can uh, to others in a team, but also try to get the best that I can from others that I work with. Guiding to me means getting people to the places that they wouldn't have otherwise been. Uh, it's absolutely amazing and so rewarding to take people out in the glacier to see these beautiful, amazing, wild places. and. It's almost like you get to see it for the first time every time, but through their eyes. And I think that is the most rewarding thing possible. Uh, the relevant experience that I have would be with uh, not only St. Elias Alpine Guides, having guided on the glacier for, for this past summer, but also a Touch of Nature Environmental Center where I worked for quite some time. I guided a lot of field trips, very large school groups. I worked with adults and children in uh, flat water paddling, hiking, trail maintenance, and there was a lot of risk and hazard mitigation uh, in that process. Uh, what I do in my free time, uh, I really love getting outside. I love trying new hikes, challenging myself. I'm always trying to become a better uh, outdoors woman, uh, but I also really enjoy reading biographies and memoirs. I don't know why, but I really, really like reading people's stories first-hand accounts. Uh, and the aspirations I have, I really, really want to become an outdoor educator. I really want to be an outdoor teacher. I really would love to get my master's from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, uh, study under Dr. Simon Beams in his outdoor education program, and then receive my teaching certificate and teach kids in school. For right now, though, I am guiding in order to get in-field experience. That way, when I go to people's parents or children's and students' parents and say, hey, I want to take your kid into the wilderness, I have that credibility, the technical and hard skills to say, hey, I can take them out and I can uh, mitigate risk and here, here's what I can do as an educator for your child. So, yeah. I look forward to hearing back from you at your earliest convenience and I'm really excited to be applying for this job. Thank you for this opportunity.